Arctic tips today I've got a full review for Cranova L6 model. This model is also known as M1080 or P30 or whatever. Yeah. And I choose the Cranova L6. Why? Because I already got one Cranova projector and I'm happy with that. That one and that's why I chose again the same brand for the same design one more company make it yeah okay as you know i do already unboxing video and what is and how it's come because this projector come on this box and how it looks and what is inside i show you already and now we will have a look on this kind of one more deep what is inside how it looks and what the quality of picture on daylight back uh, middle day or dark room or whatever yeah, so far, quick quick answer, everything is perfect, I like it. I like it so much and now I will be explain what to say. Okay, we get a projector which is about 2 kilo, 2.3 kilo I think, if I could remember. And projector come itself just only with power cable. I'm missing AV cable, I already complained because that should be AV cable uh, for analog signal. It's not there, yeah, I complain. And there is only power cable, which is plug in. Here. We also got the HDMI and two USB port. One of them is have a 5 volt out. It's some hard drive needed. I use it for connection my HD, external HD, and it works fine, no problem at all. And another one you can use for mouse, keyboard, or wireless mouse, or whatever you want it. Yeah, it works. We got AV out, headphones out, Ethernet port, because this is an Android version, and the Android version. This is one thing, doesn't support all of the application you have there, some of them you can just install, uh, it looks like it's like Chinese Android, but uh, so far it's good, it's got a YouTube and have a website, you can go some on internet, uh, you can download some apps and also you can download any any player, As you definitely need to download VLC player and use it for watch movie, uh, because VLC got a heavy codec and you can that you can watch anything you like it. Okay, what else we have? We have a Krenova logo here. We got the eye sensor here. You can lock the projector, we put somewhere where you can someone stand it, you can lock it. And we got an ER port on the front. There is only focus on here. And because this is an Android version, a Keystone correction is digital one. Uh, up to 25, I think. Yeah, yeah it's 25. The not Android version have a keystone correction here, which you can correct it and manually to make a more focused picture. Yeah, so far so good. And all of the navigation button is over here. You got a back, ups, down, menu button, OK button, power button source button yeah all fine all good and also another stuff here we got a Wi-Fi sticker here uh, serial number when it's been QA8 which is uh, April 2018 and also we have here that should be cover for cleaning dust out okay have a look on the remote control it's a standard good quality remote control i will recommend and i also order the air mouse i will put link on the description which one i like it as well you can have a look also there will be find you will be finding the link for this projector and some of the equivalent as well you can have a look all of them i put it there i just recommend it's really really good I is a spec is full HD that should be 450 ANSI lumens or 4500 lumens which is just on the marketing 450 ANSI lumens is probably correct it's more brighter than my Cranova XP uh, for 498 which should have uh, just only 300 ANSI lumens this one is much brighter uh, because I can watch this one more on the daylight and it's absolutely fine and it's good so far as this projector about 
two weeks two and a half weeks and there is not really huge any problem only problem i find it he sent me the one with probably all the firmware because there is a no Crenova logo or maybe he sent me not correct one but yeah, it's fine on the side you got a lot of ventilation and there is a lot of open open mesh to get air in and all two weeks i get just only a couple of hair inside and i think this cover should be for cleaning and I, that's why i'll now open it and have a look Yeah, that should be for cleaning and how to clean this projector, you just use the hoover, simple as this, just connect it and hoover it all dust from inside and that should be alright. Otherwise you will need to open it, this couple of screw and to have a look. Okay, uh, once you wanna open it, this projector, you got a couple of screw here, but especially for this hole you need really really long and good screwdriver because this one is not long enough and I still can touch the screw that means I can open it for you now till I get the right screwdriver but so far I use the I will be using now hover cleaning over this hole okay. okay one of the things I forgot to mention is this screw you can set up how high you want the projector and after that, just correct the picture. Got a lovely speaker on one side only, and good heat pipe. Later on, I will be also have a look, like I said, inside the projector and try swap the probably fan for more quieter one, and make this projector much much quieter. Plug in power and switch on, and show you how it looks this projector on this daytime okay, have a look how quick it switch on this projector you just push the button and wait one two three four and done projector is on and as you can see This is how it looks picture on this daylight. It's really really low, it's not really good. It's direct lights going on. But when it's not the direct line, that's absolutely fine. If I show you on the short distance, something like this. The picture is much much brighter. And once I just close lines a little bit and the picture is more usable. Yeah. I'll be switch on Android. I'm gonna menu here and I'll switch on Android. So I can focus. There you go. You can see this how it looks on the day. We just close blinds a little bit. If I open that again, that's how it looks. Got a YouTube and all of the standard apps, which is absolutely okay. Uh, <clears throat> Some of you may be asking how big different is if you use the on the day some good projector screen I have here, <clears throat> and if I just roll it out. Uh, here you go it's a little bit different on the daylight 
but it's not a huge difference at all. I think uh, that's why I actually make a decision, don't put it on the wall, because I've got a wide wall on every single room, and yeah, I don't see the huge difference between this quality screen, this really good quality screen I used long, long time ago. I just, just stick on the wall. Okay, have a wonderful okay video from YouTube. Don't broken the copyright law. That's what I hope. Um, the picture quality is amazing. It's really nice and clean. You can you can see that, and also the quality of the speaker. Okay, that's it. I don't want to broken the copyright rule rules but look at that it's daytime and the picture is really nice i think i don't even have a focusing so much and i'll be sure you later on on the how it looks on the dark this window we can compare and also yeah this picture is about one and a half meter and it's all right and is size for this, there's a 22 inch monitor and that's maybe 30, 32 inch screen the picture is really 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 nice, I like it okay, that's it for now and I hope you like it this, uh, this review and I continue to make the video on the more dining room, have a look here you go, first test, hear the noise if you are really close, it's about 50 decibels and about 1 meter is about 40. It's it's really alright if you put the sound, uh, sound on from the, any movie. This is the Android version, you can see it is a daytime test, uh, it's really visible. It's actually it's like midday, it's about 3 o'clock or nearly 4 o'clock. It's, it's not a sunny day, but it's a cloud day and there's still lights coming over the window and, and now my curtain is still open I watch the hockey and it's been brilliant it's a good experience it's on the real time looks much much better than on the camera but it's absolutely fine you can watch it it's not a perfect it's dark but yeah you can see it's outside is like this and picture is looks like this yeah it's color is it should be a little bit wash wash out but that's absolutely fine because every projector have it uh, you can see it's really nice clear picture there is no really really different when you close in you don't see the mesh or matrix from the LCD even on the daylight it's really really cool I like it and now I use it more than my XPE 498 uh, this little bit later on and you can see the color is stand up this is about I think about 6 o'clock evening outside is still light and picture is brilliant in the yeah. evening and I got a from distance 3.1 meter I got a 109 inch big screen which is about 275 centimeters on diagonal which is not bad you can see the quality picture is really really nice the mesh or LCD mesh it doesn't really see even if you are very very close it's really 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 nice it's really full HD quality if I compare with that my XPE 498 uh, it's a huge difference you can see you can see now it's really 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 just must be very close to see that but it's on the live it's hard to show on the camera that picture is really nice I really happy I am choose this projector. Only problem I've got the seller doesn't send the AV connector for analog signal which I used before as a spare input. For now I use the HDMI even for my TV because the Android version I don't need to plug in my Blu-ray, I can connect anything over the Android and just USB connect my hard drive and all reading fine after I install VLC player nice I'm okay. happy with the purchase 490 euro Krenova L6 is brilliant I can just recommend it yes. but so far I'm happy click subscribe don't forget share 
uh, link you will find on the description and definitely is it good buy I'm really really happy with that Crenova L6 I hope you like it if you got any question just ask link is on description or of the spec or where you buy it or whatever just yeah click like subscribe and stay tuned for my next video